Welcome to Star Trucker. Today I'm going to be giving you a first look into the game. I'm going to show you as much as I possibly can to give you a bit of an informed decision whether this game is for you or not. To start with, I do want to go into the options so you can have a look over what you can change in the game. The game settings is things like your field of view, the more visual elements like your reticle, your outlines. You can also choose the position of your cab joystick and your mag lock lever position as well from left and right or personal preference you'll see these when we get into the the gameplay settings if these two don't make much sense at the moment now wherever you are around the world whatever units you're used to star trucker has you covered in all these so the distance weight fuel volume and temperature so whatever you are used to you can change that to what is your personal preference for the controls, these are things like your pitch, your sensitivity, and sort of controller settings. So you can change all those in there. Fairly standard. Same with display. It's just your graphic settings in here. There's nothing extra you need to worry about. And audio is fairly standard split into the different categories. I have music disabled because YouTube copyright. Um, so if you want to adjust those, you can adjust them how you want. Ambient music will play every so often when you're playing in the game. So if you want to turn that off, find that annoying, you can, you can turn that off if you want to. The second thing I want to talk about before we dive into the gameplay is the presets, because this is all down to your play style. Basically, you can customize everything from the maintenance to the fuel to how you want. There are four main presets here and custom. I'll get to custom in a second because that's where you can really fine tune your game experience. Recommend is smack bang in the middle, drivers more the driving side, mechanics more the maintenance side, and hardcore is everything on the hardest difficulty. So personal preference, what do you want to go for? But let's look into custom first, because if there are certain things you don't like, you can change them. Things like the death or the tutorial job, um, which is a good point to have. When you select these for a new game, they are locked into that save slot. You have three save game slots, by the way, or up to three anyway. So you might want to go into recommended first, play around with it, see how you feel with everything, because again, it's personal preference, whether you feel that the maintenance is too harsh or the fines are too harsh or any of the financing, you can change that all in here. You've also got things like precise docking. If that's something that you maybe turn on, say advanced coupling in Eurotruck Simulator 2, it's fairly similar. There's the truck warranty, uh, which has immediate access to the paint and body shops. That's what it explains down there. Game's pretty good at explaining everything actually. Um, so if you had that off, the paint shots will be fully available because how truck warranty works is when you have your warranty, all repairs in the upgrade shop are free. When that expires 80,000 miles on your odometer, you then have to pay for them and then your body shop is available. So do you want the paint shop available to you straight away or not? That's up to you. Um, these are more, the truck systems is more maintenance. So if you don't like how maintenance is, you can turn it down or you can turn it up to however you want. And then you've got things like efficiency that go for normal, good, and poor as well. Fuel is just the fuel type and the cost of it. Personal preference is basically majority of this is what I'm sort of showing you and pointing out here. And then we've got the sort of financing, so the rewards and the deductions and, and things like that. And to do with going over your, your credit, going into the minus. Your starting balance, you can start in the minus, you can give yourself a challenge if you want but that's completely up to you and things with fines, tolls and repair costs. I am now in game and ready to show you the sort of gameplay loop for Star Trucker. So if you're wondering what preset I went with, I went into custom and I turned off the truck warranty and I turned off the tutorial job because what I'm gonna take you through is the basic gameplay loop going from one job all the way to another. I'm gonna actually show you around my cab first of all. So, we've got your CV radio up here, you've got your main sound radio stereo up here, and we've got different little controls up here. You've got your horn, and things like turning off your thrusters and different controls up here. And that is for jump gates. I'll show you that in a little bit, and that's to lower your shutters. 
you've got screens on your left and on your right, you've got the mag lever. So this is for docking like we are now or to attach a trailer. And in these screens, these two are very, very similar. They have some similarities in the screens that you can use, but also they have their own unique pages as well. So on the left hand side, we've got our sort of docking camera, but this would also have the docking camera as in the reverse camera as well. And then we've got the truck status. If this gets too low, the integrity of the truck will go lower and you'll have to repair it at an upgrade shop. These are to do your electronics. There's an electronics switch box in the back as well, which I'll show you when we start walking around. And then we've got our mirrors as well. On this one, again, you've got a docking camera, but if you're already docked, it will use the docked camera on the station. And then we've got our power levels. This is part of the maintenance side of the game. So we will have to, at some point, have a look at our gravity to start with, but we don't need to change anything just yet. This is all about the oxygen levels because oxygen has two components. It has a power cell that powers it, but also air filters to make sure the air is being filtered correctly. And these will eventually wear down and you'll have to replace those as well. And then we've got our mirrors as usual. Our emergency brake is here and you've got your usual thing for your sort of dash. You've got a clock at the top, which is useful if you're doing just in time jobs. So you need to be wary of the time um, and then quick jobs as well. You've got your cruise controls down here. I'll be using this when we start moving. You've got our lights. You've got the driver assist. It's basically stability control with that and more lights here. Your climate control, again, very useful. Some sectors that you jump into will be very cold, so you'll have to warm up the cab or vice versa, because you don't want to die of extreme heat or hypothermia. Now, if you're past the tutorial, what if you have a question? What if you don't know how to do something and it's not told you because the tutorial only probably lasts maybe 10, 15 minutes? Well, you've got a user manual and you can peruse yourself into this if there's something that you're not sure of. Okay, let's walk around the cab because this is something you can't do in the lights of Euro Truck. So you've got your suit, which you can go on and go in into here. We open that up and we can go out. We can't because we're docked at the moment. And you'd use that to repair any hull damage for any collisions you've done wherever. And bear in mind, hull breaches will affect things like oxygen and stuff like that. So it's best to sort of repair them. And this is where it charges it. So this actually has both an electronic box or a UCC and a power cell to power it. So eventually the, that will go down from as the power on this is 96 out of 100 and that is 100 out of 100. So it's far from being replaced as of yet. But air filters up here. You start with two, you can add stuff because there's, um, there's a slot over there and there's a slot empty slot over here as well, but you start with two. And down the stairs we go and we have all the different aspects that you need. We've got our starting resources. Some of these, these things you can actually sell for money. So there is trading as well. These container boxes are very useful for storing everything in. And you can actually, if you find some salvage out in the world, you can put your suit on, grab one of those containers and go out and collect a few of them, put them in your box instead of taking one trip at a time back and forth. You can also refill your own fuel. The fuel can is on the underside of the truck, by the way, as well. That's basically the, the cab. And I was one of the people when I played the demo a few months ago, um, because the first thing that's going to go is your gravity. I didn't know where the gravity was. And they've now labeled it now here, but it's under the stairs. And fun fact, when you are docked like we are right now, guess what we can do? We can actually take out the gravity because this station is supplying us with gravity. So it's really useful to know when you're docked, it's easier to change that because when you take that out, everything will start floating all over the place. Okay. Shall we grab a job by closing that door and opening up this? This is your job board where you find your jobs. Now, I don't have any skills enabled at the moment, so we only have these jobs to begin with. And because this is going to be a first look, I'm going to give you a short journey. So it's probably going to be one of these. 
They both have one jump, one is a rush job, and one isn't. And we can either go to Onyx or we can go to Purity. And I kind of want to take the tanker because it's a different sort of cargo. Okay, and there's a little contract thing here. The one thing that you will probably want to know is if for some reason your job gets terminated, this is the cost you're going to have to pay. And get ourselves back lined up and then we're going to reverse. Now the PC controls are actually a little bit weird. It's spacebar for forward for throttle and it's shift for braking and reverse. Okay. Connect. There we go. And that's what it looks like. That's what the mag lock looks like when you've attached a trailer. And if you have the skills in one of the skill trees, which I'll show you in a little bit, you can effectively have multiple trailers. So we need to go over to Purity over there. Now, most case scenario, you're going to see some, some debris and you need to avoid that. Otherwise, you might, if you hit it too fast, you'll get some hole breaches on your outside of your truck and you'll have to sort of repair that. And let's go towards one of the space lanes. Now, there's nothing stopping me going directly through that way. But the space lane is safer because it doesn't have any debris. It just has other traffic. So it will lock on to the nearest five. So it's locked on to 85 miles per hour. And I can adjust that downwards if I want to. So if I want to go all the way down to 60, I can do 60. And I can put it up again as well. To deactivate the cruise control, you can either accelerate for more than a second. So use your throttle. Or you can brake for more than a second. Or be in a collision and that will disable it as well. Now, there isn't always a space lane to go in, as you can see here. And we're going towards one of the jump gates. And the jump gate animation and the visual effects is one of my favorite things in this game. It really is nice and satisfying for me anyway. For jump gates, you need to line up. You need to be stationary. Yes, it's about to tell me. Yes, I'm aware. I know game. I do know. And the gate will start powering up once you are close enough. It will even tell you that as well. And you may notice the clock in the middle. Because when you jump, it's not instant. It will take some time. That's particularly useful if you're doing a just-in-time job and want to calculate how long it's going to sort of take. This is going to turn green when the trailer is in. Let me show you in third person. There we go. And then we just detach. And we've been made. And we should level up, which means we've got a point to spend. So we can either do just-in-time jobs or fragile. We're going to go with Fragile on this occasion, which means be careful with them. Confirm. Now I've just traveled back to Jefferson's place just to show you one of the shops. Cosmos Cash and Carry, which we are going to dock to. Because I haven't actually shown you how you dock to one of the stations. And this is how you will do it. Go all the way down to zero for our speed and let's just align ourselves up a bit. Now, this is fairly lenient when it comes to docking. Uh, there are certain angles where you cannot actually, and it will, it will tell you, it will say misaligned, mm, slow down, like that. Now, it might not take that. No, it's not going to take that. So, that's actually a really good example there. So I'm just going to straighten up. Now, obviously, having strafe and vertical thrusters would have made that a little bit more easier. But I just need to go out and then come back in again. And what I've found to have a more success rate is be out maybe 100 yards or so. And you can alter and adjust yourself as you reverse in. Probably the easiest way 
do anything. And this looks fairly good. There we go. And then we just attach ourselves and it will just realign us like that. Actually, it doesn't matter your orientation. I've actually docked somewhere upside down before and it will rotate you all around. This is the shop. You can actually open up your what's in your cases as well and you can sell those. Now, usually if a cell is low, you would sell it because they don't recharge to the power cells at all. Now, each shop will sell a different amount of things just because this is what is shown here does not mean the any other shop that you visit will be that will stock that. So just bear that in mind. But also I mentioned about trading as well. So I could, if I wanted to, sell, you know, these grow packs or the, this data cable, for example, right? Because at the moment in this shop, the local prices, we've got chemicals, which are up 20% and electronics. Now, data cable, that counts as an electronic. So we could actually sell that for 775 and it will actually tell you with that little arrow down on the value in the center. It's saying, well, I could sell the grow packs so let's do that as we go see what we can sell that would be useful that's those uccs we're not going to sell because we're going to need those cleaning supplies are up so we could sell that as well the workwear carton not really any points but we can sell that and that'll give us some extra funds let's say i don't know we want to buy ourselves one of the air filters because we will need that eventually down the line now it's showing an arrow down green meaning meaning it's good to buy this here because it's on its lowest price so we're going to purchase that we have 5,000 now as you can see and this is going to cost us 2,850 now you don't actually have to sell and buy separately I can buy this at the same time as selling something here i'm not actually going to sell anything here because there's nothing to sell over here but i could do and then do the transaction i'll give a sort of example if i was to sell this it will deduct it as you can see in the center i'm not going to and then just confirm bang and if we open this up we have our air filter and i can grab this and take this down uh, we will place that on here. You've got to be careful when you drop things because it will cause damage to them as well. And that will go nicely with our other air filter in here. Just like that. We are going to be going into the upgrade shop here. Just to show you. Now the auto essentials is basically the auto shop. So if there's something that you specifically need that's for maintenance, it's just like any other shop but this upgrade is a little bit different go into the green go down all to zero and in we go now this is all about upgrading so oh and by the way i did another job as we came here so i managed to get another, another thousand under our belt so now our total is at four thousand so proportion, there's different upgrade systems that will affect different things. For example, the turbo hertz system will affect the acceleration and brake power. And that will have one upgrade. So if we did upgrade that, for example, and did that, as you can see, one of those arrows is one piece of upgrade. Then we've got structure, where we've got reinforced plating, thermal insulation, and anti-capacitive shielding. Again, they do different things for the structure and then for the subsystems for the mile log the suit station and then the sensor tuning which is grayed out we can also repair our hull here if we want to which i'll do that which will repair all the hull damage now that we've done that you may have noticed something uh we've got no gravity um i was going to wait till it had run out and it has now done that and we're going to sort it because it's made a bit of <laughs> it's made a bit of a mess okay so we are going to grab a power cell which is up here. Let's drop that there. Let's open that up. And we can plop that over there. And gravity is restored. When this, you again, you can repair the hole in, the, in here as well. But there are paint jobs. 
Uh, there are some DLCs, so the ones that are available just by unlocking. And there are some others that, are, that need some challenges. For example, make 10,000 from rate contracts is this one. So you can have a look at all of these little liveries that are available. All of them are basically all challenges that you need to complete in the game to be able to get them. Now we're just going to use the default for now because once you've selected a livery, you can then change the colors if you want to. Okay, just like this. And you can also change the chrome color as well. If you wanted to. And of course, if you didn't like any of that, you could always reset it to its default. So there's some customization how you want to as well. And there's also the finish. So there's metallic, gloss, matte and industrial. Now you may have noticed our fuel gauge is looking a little bit low. So we're going to go into a fuel pump and I'm going to show you how filling up works. So you may guess we go into the purple area, wait till it's green to stop. And then we fill up as we want to. Like that. And I'll give us into this little screen. Now you can start by pressing the button and you can stop again if you wanted to and it will cost you. But we can probably go all the way because we probably have enough to do a full tank. This is the final point of interest, the body shop, because I've shown you how to upgrade the internals of your truck. I've shown you the paint customization, but what about changing some of the visual elements of your truck, which you can do so in the junk fields. It's the only location at the moment that has a body shop in the starting sectors anyway. And has no actual space lanes by the way it's all debris around here so you've got to be careful so let's show you what customization there is as you can see it's similar to the upgrade shop and the paint shop for entering you don't need to dock so we have grills which aren't unlocked through challenges they are unlocked through just funding so you can change the grills to whichever one that you take your fancy. There is one for DLC. Hood ornaments as well. Through all of those. And obviously the DLC ones as well. And the exhausts you can change. And the sensors on the side. I can imagine this is something that they will update as time goes on. More things to customize and change and alter. And with like with every other upgrade shop, you can also repair your hull here as well. And that is our first look into Star Trucker. I did say I, I would cover as much as I possibly could, and I definitely have done so in today's video. Hopefully it's been helpful enough for you to decide whether this game is for you or not with the main sort of gameplay loop. If you have enjoyed the video, found it helpful and informative, I'd like to see more content than this one make sure you are subscribed i'll be covering more star trucker as more info and updates come along as the devs update the game i'll also be covering other games in the racing and simulation genre so if that interests you you can stick around and i'll see you in the next one take care